Yo, what's up guys and welcome to this video. As you might know, I'm working on getting the Bendel's pet. And if you have ever gone pet hunting, you know that this takes a lot of time to get. So I settled for a different kind of goal. The idea is, I have to make a lot of kills anyways, so I might as well go for Max Casey in the Bendel's boss room. Now when you first decide to do that, you're not really sure how many kills that is. And in fact, I actually only found out in the room itself. The kill count I was shooting for eventually turned out to be 4000 kills. Since you are doing about 4 and if you're a little bit slow 6 kills each boss kill and every boss kill will take about 1 minute to spawn, be killed and spawn again, you're looking at about 700 to 1000 kills of the Bendos boss. Of course not knowing this up front I kinda miscalculated the amount of pouches and siphons I needed for this task. So I did have had a little bit of a restock at one point. But quite literally I only got a few pouches and siphons. The rest of the thing is all done with the demon horn necklace combined with a bone crusher. It is a fantastic combination. Now somewhere in the start of these 4k kills I did get something I would like to call and think of as very 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 rare. Unfortunately I am not talking about the decaying tooth drop. But it was in fact a minion drop. I had actually had a Tessets drop 2 kills before that one, and on the second kill, with Grider still alive, a Bendel's Tessets appeared on the ground. Now at first I didn't really believe it, I actually thought maybe I dropped the Tessets I already received, but that was not the case, it was actually a Tessets drop from a minion. I mean it's Tessets, it's not even boots or anything, it's freaking Tessets. Now fast forward a 400 kills later, and another minion drop. It was another minion drop. And guess what? It was Tessets again. Now I have not seen a lot of minion drops there. Actually none before this one. And I actually got two of them. Both Tessets. And that was not enough for that day. The drops actually continued. So I've gotten this event lock from someone from my friends list. And that was the capture of the day actually. It showed... 5 tacit drop, a helmet drop and a chestplate drop. And I just took a little picture from my event log which shows 3 tacits in 30 minutes time. And of course I can't forget the little cheeky Bendos boots drop right in the center of it. Now I have to say this is actually one of my luckiest trips ever. And I don't think I will ever get one of those trips ever again. And then finally, after 12 hours of camping in the same freaking room, my kill counter moved from 3999 to max. Now this is the thing I was going for, this is the thing what, what, what I was waiting for. The focus of the trip if you will, and there it was. The world's greatest anti-climax. But I guess it's fun to see it happen, for once at least. Now of course with a little stroke of luck, the drops I've gotten in this period are actually really good. The noted items in my inventory at that point actually sums up to about 9 million and a good 10 million in coins drop as well. And don't forget the 2 million you actually spent for having the room for 10 hours. It was actually 12 but don't tell anyone alright? And then of course there are still the drops I've sent to my bank with a yak which includes 7 tessets, 3 helmets, 3 chest plates, 3 gloves and 5 boots, 5 shields a hilt and a few godsword shards. Now I've decided since I have put about 12 hours of effort into this, I might as well go along and slow sell everything for the max amount of cash possible. It takes some time but if you have the amounts I had right now, it's actually worth it and you will get an extra few mils out of that. Anyways a quick little hint on how to do that, if you don't know how to, it's actually really simple. You just go to the ground exchange, buy one of the items you want to sell and you buy it at instabuy. Go down a few GP and there's your price. This is what I like to call the slow buy price and it will actually sell eventually. Do keep in mind though, it usually works. It's a fast moving market and things can actually change very quickly. Anyways, after selling everything and giving all the experience to the effigies I've gotten, I am left with a decent 45 million and 5 lamps. And for the amount of time I've spent there, it's actually really decent. Usually they say that God Wars Dungeon 1 is for experience and God Wars Dungeons 2 is for GPs. In this case however, I've gotten about 4 million GP an hour, which is actually almost the same as I get in God Wars Dungeons 2. 
but just don't forget about the stroke of luck I've gotten in the center. I am absolutely quite sure that will not happen every single time. Now nothing will make me more happy than to say I actually got the drop pad. But unfortunately I didn't. But I'm quite sure I will be getting that one before I'm getting the 15 year escape, which is this year. Now as a final warning, please do not try this at home, unless you really like to torture yourself or like really mundane tasks. Then go ahead. And with this I want to thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao!